My name is Charles, uh, last name V-U-E, and my current title is Student Services Coordinator. Working title is Associate Director of uh, Multicultural Affairs Office. The Hmong Association was talked about uh, in 1987 when I was a student at the end of my so student year at UW Eau Claire. Uh, we had about five to eight students uh, in 1987 and then toward 1988 we had about 25 students and during that time we talked about having an association because uh, we were longing for a organized group to be a place for us to congregate to get together for social uh, purpose and for uh, organizing event that promote and increase awareness of Hmong presence including Hmong history, Hmong language, Hmong culture for the larger community. Being in a predominantly white institution sometimes it's really hard for our Hmong students and as marginalized identities to really find a way to connect um, and feel belonged. Uh, I think that HSA was created solely for the point of community, for our Hmong students to be able to have a place to go um, to really learn about who they are um, and to be proud of it, to be able to showcase that on our UW Eau Claire campus and really um, take our cultural awareness to a whole nother level. I believe HSA was made here on campus due to our campus being historically predominantly white and so having an organization like this is really helpful for students of color, especially Hmong students here. So do a organized group like Hmong Student Association, we would be officially recognized by the university and be able to receive um, meeting space and support uh, to do the work of the association. We also felt that as a, as a organized group, we would formally have a voice that concerned us and our community and that voice would be heard. If we don't have an organized group, individuals' voice may be very important but not as loud as, as a group we would. Back then we had meeting which was not very efficient. Nowadays you have a meeting that is 30 minutes to an hour and a half and you have lots of things to talk about during your meeting. You have engaging activities, you have report, you have planning, Student look forward to a meeting. In my time, the one thing we look for look forward to was just to meet up with other students uh, because it was a very lonely place. Now you have a lot more companions that you not only look forward to meeting with your companion, you're looking forward to getting the benefit of being in a in HSA. HSA has always been successful because we've had students who were passionate about wanting to keep this organization going for their own identity and for other students who have the same identity as them and wanting people to learn about our, our Hmong students and having a space on this campus. And I think that if students continue to have that critical consciousness and the need for it, that HSA will continue to always be successful because it's a much needed organization and space on our campus here for many of our Hmong students and even students who are uh, who don't identify as Hmong but as Southeast Asian American or or any of our Asian students, really, it's an organization that is really going to help cultivate who they are, um, not only in their academics, but within their college time here as well as they go into adulthood. Uh, one of the biggest events that we host as HSA is Culture Corps. Culture Corps is a conference that um, talks about Hmong heritage, background, language, and all of the above. Culture Corps has lots of themes. So last year, for my first year, we did intersectionality. So it's a lot of guest speakers coming in and talking about intersectionality, whether it was like their experiences or research that they've done. And we got to go to like different rooms for each conference and each speaker. And then we had one big keynote speaker and she talked to everybody. Um, we all got to dress up and listen to music and we all got to eat together and so it was super nice too. Association was created in 88 so that we can increase awareness of Hmong history and culture and background through the association and the association provides a annual uh, cultural festival where Hmong 
event day so that we can invite audience in those days mostly non-Hmong people, people who work on campus and the white people in the Hmong community to come to our event so that we can share with them about what Hmong culture are and understanding us more uh, they will see us as a group of people with asset and they will uh, want to do things with us. They will want to be friend with us. They will come to understand our experience and be able be in a position to support us in school and in the community. With HSA, I think being a Hmong student at UWC and being part of HSA has definitely helped with my identity and then also being able to connect with other Hmong students who also have experienced the same things as me and we're all able to relate and like be in the same rooms and I feel very safe with them because we're all able to relate to the same things and we've gone through many similar things and also it's made me more um, comfortable with my identity being able to accept that I am Hmong and all the different intersectionalities that do come with being Hmong. HSA is some is a organization that has always encouraged your identity. HSA um, impact me as as a Hmong student on campus by making me feel safe and making me feel comfortable where I am and it makes me feel like I'm not alone here and we're all in this together and I feel like it's just a second home to me.